Hello friends, it's Amy Perlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and today I've got some awesome masculine cards to share with you. I know I say this all the time, but I can always use more masculine cards. So when I saw, this is the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. When I saw this in our 2019-20 um, annual catalog, I knew obviously it's gonna be perfect for those kind of manly masculine cards. So I combined, like I said, the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper with an awesome stamp set and die set. I'm gonna show you so we are using, this is the Well Said stamp set. Can you see, this is a stamp set that has 51 different sentiments in it. So awesome, we've got, you can kind of build lots of different sentiments and sayings with the stamp set alone. And then there is a great set of dies that come, uh, that kind of coordinate with it as well, called the Well Written Dies. Um, we are going to use, I'm going to actually demonstrate this friend card, and I'm going to tell you the details of the others so you kind of have dimensions. Very simple layouts. I, I love to make these simple, simple cards. I think, you know, you can get so much um, impact with these cards just with the designer series paper alone. Um, so that's why I kept them simple because I really wanted to focus on the designer series paper. And then, like I said, use these dies and the stamp set. So we are going to use there. Um, how many different dies are in this? Let me see if I can find. So in our catalog, the, where did they go? The well-written dies. You can see them kind of right here. So teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm going to try to get in as close as I can. So if you can see these dies, there are 24 different dies. We've got happy, you, groom, friend, the and sign, thanks, welcome, love, bride, hooray, miss, there's an exclamation point, birthday, baby, wishes, and sympathy. So I don't know if your wheels are turning like mine are, but if you can imagine all the different sentiments that are in the dies, then also work super well with all the different sentiments in the stamp set. So like I said, you can build lots of different um, sentiments and sayings and things with that stamp set and die set. So we are going to use, and if you can see, these are kind of the sizes. I think that's always nice to see the sizes of things. There's a beautiful kind of a scrolly floral image right there, and then kind of um, some tall leaves right there, and then these other cute little bitties. We have, there's a little butterfly oh that cute little birdie that and sign and the exclamation point and then a couple of little flowers and a heart too so and then lots of great words of course these are all backwards so it's hard to tell what they say and I need to make sure <laughs> I pull off the one I need so I want my friend and then there you can see that better if I put that can you see it Maybe if I put it on my hand right there, you can see it says friend. So when they're stuck on there, they're all backwards. Um, but you can obviously tell I use the happy, the hooray, and the you were the other um, dies that I used. So let me show you. I'm going to show you these two first because this is the exact same layout. The top piece of designer series paper and the bottom, they're both two inches by five and a quarter inches. So on this one and on those. And if you can see, I did the hooray with the cute little hearts. The best thing about today is you. And I will tell you, those little hearts are actually from the above the clouds stamp set. They're not in this well uh, said stamp set. Um, then there's this other little one here too. You, thoughtful, kind, generous. That's you. I love that sentiment also. Um, with some of the twine, some of our new, um, this is Night of Navy and Sahara Sand Twine. And then actually this is some of the new Magnolia Lane ribbon from the Ribbon Combo Pack. It's kind of just a really nice natural, um, kind of, I would almost say crumb cake or maybe um, Sahara Sand with a little bit of white stitching on it. But I love that ribbon too. And I thought it worked really well with these cards. This one has a Night of Navy base and then this one has a Sahara Sand sand card base. Um, and let me just tell you, you probably already know this, but just in case you don't. So say, for example, you started with your cardstock that was eight and a half by 11 inches. We're going to cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, you score it at four and a quarter inches. The only other thing maybe to know about is I wrapped the ribbon kind of all the way around and then tacked it down um, on the front of the card behind our sentiment right here. And I did that on both 
of those cards. This one I used the layering square framelits and then this one I used the layering oval framelits um, for my sentiments. And then this guy, similar layout to the card I'm gonna demonstrate. We've got Happy Father's Day, just in time for Father's Day. And then this is the card I'm gonna actually demonstrate for you. It says, friend, know that love, prayers, and caring surround you today. Now these, we start with a Knight of Navy piece of cardstock in both cases for these cards. So eight and a half by 11. This time we cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at uh, five and a half inches. These pieces of designer series paper measure, I'm gonna just make sure, um, yep, two and a half inches by four inches. That's the top one. And then the bottom one is two and three quarter by four inches in both of these cases. I did the same thing where I wrapped the ribbon around the card and then tacked it down behind this sentiment. Okay, and then this one I also use those layering square framelits on. But this one I'm going to show you. have got a brand new punch. It's called the Timeless Label Punch, and I use that on our card. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. I'm always like, what do I want to do first? So let's do our stamping and our die cutting. Okay, so I have my Knight of Navy ink pad. And I've got my sentiment that know that love, prayers, and caring surround you today. So we're gonna just stamp that nice, easy, tap, 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 press straight down and straight up. This is just a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. Okay. And then where's my punch? Here, my new, my brand new timeless label punch. So I'm gonna punch my sentiment out and I just wanna get that centered nicely inside there pop that guy out we need him and we also i'll show you my little trick here to kind of add a little background so we're going to punch one of these babies and then with my scissors i'm just gonna cut it in half basically then we are going to put some adhesive along the back side of both of those and then we're just going to kind of layer this right kind of outside, just so it shows a little bit of that blue Knight of Navy label behind it. And that's all I did with that. So can you see, I'll get closer there so you can kind of see that too, okay? We are gonna die cut our friend sentiment now. We're just gonna do that with our uh, die cutting machine. So I'm gonna grab that, put this right here, okay. I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad, my paper and my die, and then my other clear cutting pad on top. And bear with me a sec, I'm gonna go back and forth a time or two. I always find that that's helpful to get this die to cut through so that sometimes I get lucky enough that you can even just, oops, pop it. <laughs> Yay, it worked. <laughs> so if you just kind of pop that down on your table and there's your friend. So I didn't even need my um, dye brush there, which was awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead. We're going to start putting things together. So we're going to add this again, my designer series paper. The top piece measures two and a half by four inches, and then the bottom piece measures two and three quarter by four inches. And this is just some fun kind of nautical rope, I guess I would say. And then this is actually the backside of this one. So we use kind of front and back of those. Now let me make sure that I don't um, <laughs> put adhesive on the wrong side. So this one goes on the top. So I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna put some adhesive there, and then this one goes on the bottom, so I wanna put my adhesive on that side. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add our designer series paper. Just make sure, this is like a teeny tiny newspaper print, but kind of in a Sahara sand color. Just make sure you put it right side up. <laughs> that would be something that I would do, is put it on there upside down and not even realize it. Okay, so we've got those, and now, and this is how I'll show you, what I meant by kind of tacking this around. So I'm gonna run my ribbon around and you don't even have to have it meet all the way because you're gonna cover it up with your punch there. 
So I want to add a good amount of adhesive to make sure these tack down well. So we're going to do one. And I rub really well because I don't like when that starts to come apart. And I'm going to pull that through and then push down really well on that side too. Okay. Now we need a couple of dimensionals. I put a number of these on here because I'm kind of helping it hold everything together. And then I want it, um, I don't, sometimes if I only put one or two, it looks a little wobbly on there. So I tend to put four of them when I'm going over ribbon like that um, so that it doesn't get wobbly on me. Okay, so we're gonna put that guy right about there. And then our little friend sentiment. I forgot my um, silicone mat, so I'm just gonna use the back of my dimensionals. It kind of works like that silicone craft sheet so that I don't get sticky adhesive all over. And generally, adhesive doesn't stick to the back of that either. So just kind of a little trick there. I use that a lot <laughs> because I seem to forget to bring that over when I'm doing these videos, but that's all right, it works too. So we're just gonna kind of press firmly there, and this is helping me, if there was any adhesive that kind of stretched across inside there, as I rub on there, it's kind of helping get rid of that too. Now I had to use that little heart, I, I was kind of a fun theme, I used it on all of these cards. So this little teeny tiny baby heart, again, is from the Above the Cloud stamp set, and I just kind of dotted my eye with that little heart there. So isn't that cute? <laughs> I was having fun with those hearts. Then last step. This is the new Knight of Navy Sahara Sand Baker's Twine. And we are going to just make a little bow with our Baker's Twine and add it to our card. So there, we'll get the bow the size that we want. We're going to trim that guy off there. And then I just need a little mini glue dot. And I will add this on to our card. Where's my last mini glue dot? There we go. Okay. Just going to put that right about there. So, like I said, simple, simple cards for you today. Isn't that fun though? Friend, know that love, prayers, and caring surround you today. I love that sentiment too. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not quite done. I forgot. I put a little, because this is so dark, I put a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I had to put a couple more hearts. So let's pop this open. I thought I was done, guys. Okay, almost there. So we're going to pull it. Oops. So when that happens, because we are, Whisper White cardstock is so um, thick, even on its own, especially once you layer it on the card. If I were to hold it up in the light, I could see that little heart back there, but once I layer it on here, you're never gonna be able to see it. So if you make a mistake, just know that. You can always flip it over and use the other side. That's why I always tell people to um, stamp and then adhere, because if you were to put adhesive on this white piece and then stick it in here and then do your stamping, you've missed your opportunity to be able to um, flip things over. So there's the inside of the card. Okay, so again, super fun cute, simple, easy to make cards, right? I hope you guys enjoyed these. I am loving, I'm gonna give you a, a little bit closer up because I don't think I did that before, of the designer series paper to this Come Sail Away designer series paper. I'm loving this paper. Again, perfect for masculine cards. We've got that Father's Day card just in time for Father's Day and then some other great sentiments on there as well. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and then make sure to like and comment. I love to hear from you guys too. Um, let me know if you have any questions on anything I talked about today. If you wanna make these cards and you're, you're confused on something, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you. And if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, so let me know, I can get you a catalog, anything else you need, um, I'd love to do that for you. And make sure you hop over, if you are ready to order, for example, that Come Sail Away Designer Series paper or the Well Said Stamp Set or Well Written Framelits, hop over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. On the right hand side of the toolbar is a host code. When you grab that host code and then shop online at my website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net, 
I always send you a free embellishment with at least a $50 order and your name goes in a drawing that I do every week on my Facebook Live videos. You can win uh, projects, you can win a prize from there too, so lots and lots of good stuff. And let me know if you have any questions on any of that. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everybody, thanks for watching.